quick preview before Ragamuffin and after Princess that is polished. You found a dog grooming part two. Okay, so we're going to start with the ear. First thing I do is lift it up. Your dog might have hair out here. Doesn't matter if it's this long, this long, that short. What we're going to do is use the double ended thinners and cut around the ear leather. Those thinners I got from eBay, they were about $9.99, uh, really cheap, and did the job just fine. So it doesn't have to be expensive if you're doing at home grooming with your own dog. So I'm just framing both sides of the ears here, front and back. Right hand, but on the left hand side, which is a bit awkward, but you just want to trim all the way down. Round here, I would take that part out as well. Like I say, it might be round and sticking it all over. She's being cut recently ish uh, i'm going to do the same with the the front part uh, that's a bit there that's just jutting out doesn't matter where it's sticking up from if it's sticking out cut it off i'll leave you with a sharp edge there which is when we will brush the hair out or pop it up and then blend down all over the area I'm just doing this quickly, you know, it's a pet groom, it's not a, a show groom. The only main difference between a, a pet groom and a show groom is that a show groom takes a lot longer because you want to perfect everything. Um, and a pet groom is usually a little bit more easier to maintain. You take things a little bit shorter in certain areas, like behind the ears here, where they get completely matted. You want to take that right down and take it back quite short the mid. Keep going over. The rule is that you brush the hair out before you cut it because I can smooth all that down and it will look wonderful until the dog moves and it all comes back out again. I'll go underneath, blend all this in. around at the neck. This is just a quick go over just to show you. If you lift the head up, you want this to blend nice and round. So here they're sticking out. I would just keep going and going and going, brushing and popping. I would do around here and when you get to the front. Okay, when you're looking at the newfie from the front, the bottom of the chest here, you want this nice and round. Uh, so you want to cut this hair diagonally and um, it should be the only real diagonal cut you'll do on your dog and just keep cutting and bring it round blend it all in <laughs> the great thing about thinning scissors or blending scissors whatever you want to call them um, it doesn't take off the whole hair like a straight bladed scissor would so you have a little less room for error. If it's sticking out, cut it. I'm not going to go into grave, vast details. You will see lots of little wispy ends and things. They can just be cut right off. And get a much nicer, cleaner shape. There we go. Now for the other side, just going to flip her over, flip her around, get this all blended in down here. And if you keep stepping back and looking at the dog and, and brushing the coat and stepping back again, you can see the bits that stick out and the bits that need to be cut. What you're looking for is a nice smooth transition, curved lines, some new fees will have big old bibs, some will have shorter. So the parts that I've cut here, the chest, behind the ears and, and down the shoulder, I'm just going to tip anything that's sticking out or looks a little bit wild. Keep combing as you're doing it here, just like this. 
that isn't speeded up. <laughs> that is genuinely her pasta I'm cutting. I'm just snipping off little bits. Just need to get that bit down there. And then we can start on the underside here. As you can see, Mooney has a bit of a skirt, and Newfoundland should not have a skirt. So we're going to try and shape that round. Just take the bulk of it off, round it down. Straight. Straight across here. And straight across it's supposed to be a curve, a slight curve up into here, which I will take off. Right, there's a the part under under here. Keep the dog's arm up. He's such a good little man. You would get that right out the way. All the feathers blend that right in with the chest all the way around. Make sure you're getting right underneath. I forget we've clipped the tummy off. You can't see it. Again, keep popping. See where the cord's gonna lie. Any little wispy parts. Blend down. Just keep blending down, blending down, blending down. And then neaten it underneath. The little nipple peeking out. She has had babies. <laughs> she snorted at that one. I have kept my figure fantastically, I shall help you now. Be careful not to cut off that nipple. I'm just going to work on that back end a little bit now. Again, it's the same principle, pop the core and take off any of the wispy parts. Okay, so we have the big pom-pom feet. This is what I did earlier. But here you can see it's blending all the way down into the hock, which you would go straight down here. These scissors are great for a beginner, but for me, they're really not taking enough hair, so I'm a little bit impatient with them. As you can see, I'm just chop, 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 chopping away. You can get sharper versions, um, and I do have more expensive thin and scissors but the grip for a beginner because you don't want to take too much hair anyway just in case you mess it up so nice and slowly does it like I say this is just a quick pet burn just going to do the underneath the back foot here I'm going to comb everything out and then I'm going to take my curved shear and put my knuckles to the pads and just cut straight across like a fan just fan all the way across. I'd usually leave that a little bit longer if I was showing, but obviously this is a pet groom, so you don't really want that trail in the ground and picking up everything. So I just take the sides right down, clear the pad because you want a little bit more traction. Newfies tend to grow quite long hair at the bottom of the feet, so keeping those clear is always best. <coughs> You can see I'm not going to be trailing the ground as much. I'm going to come and blend all of this in. Nice curve. I'm just going to go the other side. As you can see, everything, every time when you pop the hair out, you can just see there what needs to come off. So it's a lot easier to always comb before you cut and comb during cutting and after cutting <laughs> keep going back just to perfect everything you just want a nice curved edge here going from the top of the the hock down into the foot it's like <laughs> the quickest groom ever <laughs> i'm just doing the same on the other side it's always a good idea to have a picture reference as well um just to kind of look at what shape you're going for and then you can refer back to the picture and see if you're achieving that Mooney actually didn't have any fur here at all until we uh, <coughs> clipped it off so we've clipped back one of the boys who doesn't have any fur here either, in the hopes that it might 
promote growth. Fingers crossed, because we would like to get him in the ring. But it just looks awful when they have these scrawny little ankles. Not scrawny ankles, but scrawny ankle hair makes ankles look scrawny. Yeah, so I just keep popping all over the dog. I mean, that top line hasn't been blow dried straight because she's not going in the ring and I don't fancy the extra hours work. Feathers, you can cut them as short as you want. Leave them as long as you like. Same principle, brush it all out. I'm just gonna cut straight up so you can see. I'll bring all the way around, all the way down, blend it in. We'll take that part short because we don't want that trail in the ground. Enough for a pet. Looks beautiful in the ring and they've got these gorgeous flowing huge feathers, but practically it's just a mud magnet. Pop, popped it out and then cutting straight up all the way around. I'm going to do the inside as well, which you'd have to do from the other end. I'm just going to speed this bit up because I'm just darting backwards and forwards, finishing up this one side. I need to go and do the other side, but we're not going to record that part because it's basically the same. <laughs> Whatever. I just, I do, I dart backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I see something, I'm terrible. I'm not really the best person to do a video. I don't have the patience. But it's for you guys, so I thought I would. Let's take a step back. Have a look. You can see the hair from the other side. <laughs> that needs to come off. But yeah, that's basically it. Good girl, Molly. You are a good girl. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and watch out for our videos in the future. Bye.